Hi and welcome everyone. Today I'm going to be going over Microsoft Word 2016 and inserting text boxes and then modifying text boxes. So what is a text box? Text box is basically that must see content, right? Uh, it's going to be something that you put in a separate section from your body paragraphs, things like that, that'll bring uh, the focus to that area of your Word document. So let's get started. So this is the uh, document that I'm going to be using. Uh, don't really worry about anything on the document. I'm just going to show you how a text box uh, would work and why it is, works uh, very well on this document. So right here at the bottom we see a lot of open space. What I'm going to do is zoom in down here and I'm going to go to the home, uh, sorry, rather the insert tab. And under the text group you can see this option for text box. So this is your text box right here. Um, now they have built in formats for text boxes, but I'm going to show you how to create your own. That way you can customize it exactly how you want to. So I'll click draw text box. Now some people think that when you draw a text box it has to be perfect right where it needs to be. That's really not the case. I'll just draw a text box here. All you do is you click and drag and you'll see the text box is now created. Now great thing about these is I could change the height and uh, the width dimensions right up here in the format tab size group right here is the uh, size icons. So the height's going to be 1.5 and uh, then I can adjust the width right here and I'm going to adjust the width to 4.5 and that brings it to about that size that you see right there on the page. Now anytime you create a text box uh, you're going to want to basically align it up uh, perfectly right however you want it to be shown on the page. So your alignment options are actually right here which um, is under your layout options menu and you go right down here and you click see more. Okay, This will help you customize where you want it to go. In this case I have my horizontal alignment so that's going to be uh, left and right. So I'm going to go here to alignment and I'm going to go to centered on the page. Okay, So you can just uh, change those options. Now keep in mind you can do it relative to margin or column, characters, so on and so forth. And now what I want to do next is adjust the vertical alignment. This is how far up or down on the page that it is. And so if I click uh, align, or uh, it's not doesn't necessarily have to be alignment, right? It could be alignment top relative to the page or absolute position. Absolute position means it's not going to uh, move. So I'm actually going to choose uh, absolute position and I'm going to change it to 0.5 below the paragraph above it. That way, uh, absolute position, meaning it moves with the uh, paragraph above it rather than um, uh, staying stagnant, right? So right here, we have the paragraph above it. I'm going to choose half inch below. And by the way, that is that just means a half inch. So right there, 0.5. I click OK. And now we see that text box is adjusted on the page. Now I'm going to put some text on the uh, inside the text box. So I'll just type that in. Remember yours can say anything uh, that you want it to. You just have to type it in and then format it afterwards. So I'll just put uh, date, time, and place just so we can uh, see how that can be adjusted. All right, so we have that all written out. Uh, now what I want to do is uh, adjust that font size. So anytime I'm adjusting the font size, I want to select all of the text. The shortcut to select all of the text within a text box is Control A. So Control A is select all. Uh, that'll help you do that. Now I'm going to change the size of my text, which I can do in my home tab. Right here it says 11 is my size. I'm going to change that font size to 18 and I'm going to press enter. Okay, we can see that's uh, a good size for that. Uh, te size text box. All right. Then I want to bold it. So I could either do Control B on my keyboard, or I could go to the Home tab, Font Group, and go to Bold. And then I want to center it within the center of the text box. So I could either go to the Home tab, Paragraph Group, and click Center, or I could do a Control E, as in Edward, to center that text box. All right. So now we've adjusted the font size. The uh, bold and the center of our text. Now what I want to do is um, actually apply a theme to uh, the text box, right? And so I'm going to go to the Drawing Tools Format tab and right here it says Shape Styles. And if I go down to my Shape Styles and I click the More button, which is again that one right there, it's a little tiny uh, button in the bottom right. Anytime you see that in Word it's going to show you the gallery that uh, has everything inside that particular button. And so I see that's right there. And if I go down here, 
let's say I want to choose this one, Intense Effect Blue Accent 1, and I click that. That's great. So that's basically a preset shape style. So I'm going to click away from my shape and you can see that's how it looks but let's say I wanted to adjust that right so I wanted to change let's say I wanted the border to be black around it I could actually do that now remember I don't see that format tab up here anymore because I don't have the object selected either with a picture a video or a text box anything like that you need to actually click it to be able to edit that particular um, item and so I go back and I click it I see that the format box or format tab appears under the drawing tools I click on the format tab and then I see uh, shape outline okay so if I wanted that black border around the shape I could change that to black text one black text one is the default black color and I click that alright so that's about it in terms of uh, formatting text boxes and I'll zoom back out on this document so you can see how it looks so um, that way you can get specific information to your uh, reader of your Word documents, right? So that's what uh, the text boxes are for. That's how you can edit them. There's more that you can do with the text boxes. If you want to learn more, put a comment below. I can uh, dive into that a little bit more. If you want to learn something else in Word, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you.